their mechanisms are, are very different from each other um, compared to agents that we currently have on the market. Um, some are similar and some are not, so I'll just review kind of where the new mechanisms of um, both the liraglutide and then the combination of propofol and naltrexone. So liraglutide is a glucon, is a GLP-1 agonist, a gluco-like, sorry, glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist. Um, and its mechanism of action is it's an incretin mimetic, which is released uh, at the level of the intestine in response to food. When you eat, when it's broken down, you release this incretin hormone. Its effect is that it helps improve insulin secretion at the level of the beta cell in the pancreas and also helps reduce glucagon release at the level of the alpha cells. More importantly, why we're using it for obesity management is that it has a dramatic effect on increasing and providing satiety by reducing um, the motility at the level of the intestine so you feel fuller sooner, so you eat less. Also, it causes a little bit of gastrointestinal upset, so patients feel like they eat less, but that's also in part how it's successful in helping patients lose weight. Um, and that's also a huge counseling point for pharmacists because patients need to know that when they initiate this drug, they're going to feel like they have some GI distress. They may feel a little bloated or have that feeling of fullness or may have a small amount of cramping and that's why the drug is slowly escalated in terms of dose. Um, but it is, it is beneficial and it's really that slowing of that gastric emptying time and that feeling of satiety which then does produce weight loss and a pretty significant weight loss um, in patients that are using it. Uh, the other agent which is bupropion and naltrexone that actually works in a completely different mechanism that works on um, your uh, synapsis in the CNS. So it's thought to aug augment or modulate um, your craving zone. So it's, it's really trying to reduce food cravings or reduce that feeling of, um, of overeating or having those food cravings. And um, it's more in like the hypothalamus regulation in the CNS that helps in, in actually accomplish that and do that. So it's gonna be a dramatically different mechanism. Um, also, you, based on its mechanism and understanding how it works, since pharmacists um, can build relationships with patients and, and with motivational interviewing, trying to engage patients on what the issue they're having that may contribute to the obesity, we can help actually pick the appropriate agent based on its mechanism um, and identify where the patient needs more help with in terms of, in terms of um, the benefit. Uh, when we compare it to the drugs that are already on the market, lorcaserin is an appetite suppressant, so it targets the 5-HTC receptor um, in the CNS pathway. Now, uh, lorcaserin was also um, similar to fenfluramine, which was removed um, from the market because of its heart effect, mostly valvulopathy. Uh, it's important to, that everyone, especially pharmacists, are aware that fenfluramine targeted the, FH, um, the 5-HTA and 5-HTB receptors. This uh, lorcaserin is specifically a different receptor. It doesn't target any heart receptors. It really just focuses its pathway in the CNS to cause um, an appetite suppressant or more like an anorexic effect and um, helps patients lose weight. Uh, the uh, other agent, which is casisma, which is a combination of fenturamine and topiramate, also work on craving and appetite suppressants. So um, that is a combination of two well-known drugs that we know of. Fenturamine has been around since the 1960s. Um, as an appetite suppressant, topiramate is well known. We use that as an anti-epileptic agent, and um, it's also used for migraine prevention. And what was seen was serendipitously patients were losing weight. They didn't really understand why. When they started to dig a little deeper, they found out that it was really um, thought to be that the neurotransmitter and that craving reward control pathway um, that's similar to the combination of naltrexone and bupropion, the, one of the newest agents that's been approved. Um, brand name is Contrape. Um, so uh, 
those are similar. I guess where Lyric Ludide differs completely is that it's a completely different pathway. Um, it's not necessarily working on the CNS modulation. It's really working at a different level to produce Sadie, so um, helps patients um, eat less and therefore lose weight.